it's July. It's July. And here's the thing. Um, I know a lot of people get really stressed out about these summer months when it comes to your business. And I wanted to share some tips with you in order to help you get your business working and growing in July. All right, so in July, you guys hopefully have figured it out. You've been paying attention. We have a join promo. We do. It is only, there is a $20 join promo. So they get um, five, uh, is it five bars of the Summer Sense? Or they get five catalogs. They get testers. They get the um, uh, mini warmer. They get the Art of Fragrance um, tester set thing experience. Okay, this. Okay, they get that. Um, and it's only $20. It's only $20. So we've got that going on in July. But here's the other thing that I wanted to kind of give you guys some advice, give you guys some tips on how to work your business this month because I know it's the heat of summer. It's the heat of summer and there's a lot going on and the kids are still out of school. We're getting ready to come into, um, well, we've got Sensi Family Reunion happening next week. Uh, so excited for that going to Orlando. Um, we've got that coming up next week. And so we don't, Sensi more or less, doesn't really have a whole lot of big shouting from the rooftops announcements happening in July. So some of you who are used to Sensi giving us a lot of those promotions or sales or things like that, you might be finding yourself kind of asking, what should I do this month? And here's my answer to that question. That is, you should still be working your business just like you do every other month, but... Um, there are some really great ways that you can leverage your sales. So one of those amazing ways is, as always, the WIF box, okay? We have a fantastic WIF box this month. It always has an exclusive item, or at least it seems to anymore lately. Okay, so the WIF box in and of itself, okay? If you were to just look at doing 10 WIF boxes, if you set yourself a goal of selling 10 WIF boxes for the month, hello, Look at that PRV. That's going to get you beyond active for the month, okay? That's number one. And number two, it's going to gain you, gain you some really amazing customers because those whiff boxes don't just include wax and warmers. It's helping to introduce our customers to our other products that we have in our product lines, right? Like fragrance flowers. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, all of those things, right? So, the whiff box is always like my number one go-to. You want to sit here, you want to drive sales, you want to build your business. You need to be thinking and talking about the whiff box, plain and simple, the whiff box, whiff box, whiff box, whiff box. Okay. Number two, another really great way to build your business. Hello, Scentsy Club. We have Bring Back My Bar happening this month, friends. And Bring Back My Bar is not only just a fantastic reason for us to be reaching out to customers, reaching out on social media, sharing different posts, but we also have the fun little twist to Bring Back My Bar where we have some pods mixed into all of the excitement, right? Okay, so we're helping to introduce our customers especially our customers who are tried and true fragrance friends, right? Into the world of pods. And if you know, you know when it comes to pods. But here's the thing. I'm I'm I don't want to I don't want to spill the tea, but um I am going to say that getting into the pod section of your business is going to be a good thing. Okay? I said what I said without saying anything at all. Okay, so I want you guys to really be focusing on these other products, right? So look at these different ways. Bring Back My Bar is just an example, right? Introducing pods into the mix and some of our customers' favorite fragrance families. So Bring Back My Bar, we've had discussions about Bring Back My Bar, right? Bring Back My Bar, it is just in July. It only happens in July. I like to market it to my customers and talk about it because it is our semi-annual event, right? It only happens twice a year. It happens in July, it happens in January, and these scents are exclusive to this 
month, right? Okay, so this is a really great reason for our customers to be either stocking up on the scents that they love in the Bring Back My Bar round or creating a Scentsy Club, right? We talked about in our Scentsy Club training, we broke it down on how Scentsy Club and Bring Back My Bar should just go together like peanut butter and jelly, right? They should because I myself and my personal Scentsy Club subscriptions, the majority of what I have in wax in my Scentsy Club subscriptions are scents that are no longer available. That's right. Why, how did I do that? Well, I created a Scentsy Club when scents were available, added them in, so now I locked my bars in to always get my bar so I continue to get those scents. This is how we push our business forward. And for our customers who are just as excited about fragrance as we are, this is just a perfectly symbiotic, I can't think of the word. Um, so I wanna say symbiotic, but is that not right? I don't think that's right. I don't know. Anyway, either way, it goes hand in hand. Okay, that's the gist. All right, so we've got that going on. Now, here's another really great thing to be thinking about in July. Now, while we not may not have any like big like releases, things like that happening. Okay, we've got the whiff box. We've got bring back my bar. We have the join promo hope going on. But what we also have are the items in our clearance section. Are you talking, are you sharing with your customers about the clearance section? If you are not, okay, you are going to now. Because here's what I like to talk to my customers about. I want them to have the best fragrance experience and I want them to save the most money at all times. Which is why I talk about Scentsy Club a lot to my customers, right? Hello, we've gone through the benefits and everything they can get out of Scentsy Club. But in our clearance section on our websites, okay, on our websites, these products are while supplies last. So here's a really great way to be able to incorporate that into something that you can actually give, so to speak, to your customers, right? So case in point, you can go onto the clearance section of your website, you can look at what is available. And looking at what's available, you can put together a curated type of a bundle, right? Go there, go through there and pick out five, six, because we want to do like a bundle and save, right? Okay, go in there, pick out some wax bars that you would be the most interested in. If you were to place an order today, what would it be? What would it be out of what is in your clearance section on your website right now, what would you order? If money was no object, if you had all the budget in the world, what would you order? Those are the things that you need to be reaching out to your customers and having conversations about, right? Because those clearance items, well, yes, they're on clearance, but hello, they are amazing deals, okay? You're not having to do any extra work. You can shout these out from the rooftops on Facebook, on social media, on Instagram, on TikTok, on Pinterest, wherever it is that you're doing your social media, right? Because every single person, every single customer can go to their consultant's website and they can order and get the same price. This is not a personal special, but what this is doing is just driving energy and traffic to your website. Now, if you don't have the website active, I'm gonna always encourage you guys to make that choice when it comes to investing in your business because here's the thing, in the world of Sensi, we don't have to invest in inventory, we don't have to have any of that, but that $15 for your website every single month, hello. Okay, first of all, number one, it is the only way that someone can join your team. So if you're looking to build your team, if you are looking to sponsor, if you're looking to make this into a bigger income for you, insert the income disclosure here, but if you're looking to do that, then building a team is what you need to be focusing on, okay? And so in order for someone to join your team, you have to have a website because unless they're reinstating and joining under you, there is no other way that they can actually join your team. You have to have a website. This is why investing in your business, investing in that website every single month is going to be important, okay? If you do nothing else in your business, that is that should be the one thing that is like a non-negotiable. That is for me, okay? It always has been. I've always maintained that. 
Um, another thing to really think about is being able to have access to those clearance items are going to be able to give you a good reason, again, to reach out to your customers, to have a conversation on Facebook, to do a private message, do whatever it is that you need to do to reach out to people. For those of you who do not have a website, those of you who do not, it's okay, okay? Maybe you need to wait a minute. Maybe you're not quite there, that's okay, okay? But what you can do is go to someone else's website or go into your own workstation and start plugging in different things and you will be able to see the different price points of products that we currently have available. So while you cannot drive them to your website, you can still place orders through your workstation, right? So if you know what is on the clearance section, then all you have to do is still talk about and market those products, and then you would have to physically go into your workstation, place the order for your customers, decide whether it's gonna be directly shipped to them or if you're having it shipped to you and you're gonna package it up really nice and pretty and then porch drop it or deliver it or however it is that you're going to connect with your customers, right? Meet them for a coffee and then give them their Sunsy order. All right, so those are ways to be able to work around what is happening this month. Now, another thing to really think about in July, especially for us specifically, we have Scentsy Family Reunion happening just next week. I absolutely am so flabbergasted that it's already time for Scentsy Family Reunion. So for a lot of us, myself included, we are going to be headed off to Orlando. Now, here is the thing. You are going to see, if you're not going, if you're not going, you're going to see a lot of really cool stuff that is happening in the world of Scentsy. And if that's not enough to get you excited, I don't know what are we back? I think we're back. Okay. I hope we're back. Sorry. I should have turned on. Do not disturb. Okay. Um, so do you have a pulse? Because here's the thing. This is the most exciting time in the world of fancy. I cannot stress it enough. It's going to be so exciting. We're going to get so much information on new products. So we're going to get some sneak peeks. So it's coming up for our brand new catalog. And if you're following along, then you're also going to get to see through the eyes of those of us who are going to Sensei Family Reunion, what some of these new products look like, smell like, all the things. It's fabulous. So this is an amazing and exciting time. So while we have that going on this week or this coming up week, next week, it's so crazy, it's already here. Um, what is coming up next week? Just be mindful, okay? Be mindful that we have a lot of things that are happening, right? Not only do we have Bring Back My Bar, not only do we have some really great things in the clearance section, but we have some sneak peeks dropping, okay? Now, next month, and it hasn't been officially announced, but what I will say is that Sensi is pretty good at being able to do this, right? So I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm going to hype hypothetically guess that it is going to happen and we're going to have transition month right in August transition month means it will be the last month of our current catalog and nine times out of ten when that happens we have our semi-annual sale where almost everything in the catalog is discounted by 10%. So it's a really great incentive to start talking to your customers again about stocking up on those scents that are going to be leaving, that August it's going to be the last month to be able to get some of those scents. It's also another great thing, right? It's synonymous with Scentsy Club, right? We want those two things to always go together because if you have customers, if you yourself are somebody who loves fragrance and some of your scents are gonna be discontinued, the only way to keep them is to lock them into a Sensi Club. So this is the time that you need to be start exploring that. We have to start really focusing on ourselves on looking ahead in our business while we're still working the current month. So we wanna work with the things that we already have that are happening this month. And then we also want to start getting prepared for next month. This is how we really um, start to build that business momentum, right? Because after August, after the catalog has finished in September is the brand new fall winter catalog. Okay. And let me just tell you, if you've never been through a fall catalog season, you're in for a treat because this season fall and winter is 
huge in the world of fragrance and the world of Scentsy. So I want you guys to be prepared. And in order to be prepared, we have to properly plan. Okay. So we have to get this planning in place. We have to have conversations about bring back my bar. We have to run that synonymous with our Scentsy club. We have to also be looking at August and what August has to offer. So while this may seem like a lot is happening, this is a really good time to kind of get a good heartbeat on what is happening in your business. Do you have systems in place? How is your follow-up looking? What does that look like in your world? Okay, when you are following up with customers, how are you tracking it? This is vital to your business. When you are looking for new customers, how are you driving new people to your business? Is that through social media? Is that getting out in front of, front of people, out in public? Is that doing events or fundraisers, right? This is another really good opportunity to just kind of take stock of where your business is, see what can be improved, see what is doing, what you're doing that is going well, and then build upon those things. Okay, so while it may not seem like we've got huge fireworks happening everywhere all over our business, there's still a lot of work to do. And this is the perfect opportunity to get it done. Make this be your reason to set a plan. Make this to be a reason for making sure that you know what is going on in your business. This is your time. This is your time to build your business. And by the end of 2024, if you are in this with me, then we are going to have a fantastic end of the year. I personally cannot wait. All right, guys, until next week, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.